Today, we're the food judges, jury, and executioners. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Listen up, all you TikTok chefs and Twitter trolls. Yeah. You think it's funny to make the most horrendous foods known to humankind and then put them on the internet for everybody to cringe at. And you gotta stop because we cannot take it anymore. Yeah, the mythical crew, they keep making us try these food crimes that you're concocting and we don't wanna eat any more food crimes. Our stomachs are crying for help. I mean, just listen. I want to. Your stomach sounds a lot like you. Well, of course Mine it does. Sounds it's my more, stomach. More like a stomach. <laughs> you sounds like a little girl. <laughs> you got a little girl stomach? I don't think so. You got a little. You got. But you know what? There would be absolutely no problem if I had a little girl stomach. That's right. I, I would be proud of with it. With everything you eat, I don't know how that little girl is, 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 <laughs> is doing. <laughs> it's time for. <laughs> Food crimes, don't cook the crime if you can't do the time. As you both know, food crime is a disgusting dish that someone dreamt up, made, and for some reason decided to share on the internet. Stevie. We, yeah? Is that you or is that your stomach talking? <laughs> Stevie, how does, what, is your, what does your stomach sound like? My stomach is actually very loud. All right. And um, uh, Oh, sorry, you're wanting me to, to imitate it now? Yeah, yeah. No, just give her the soapbox. Let your stomach talk. No, no, I'm, I'm full right now. No. I'm full just your before this episode where you're about to gross things, yeah. We'll see if it comes I up. I thought your stomach might sound like, all the way down. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Swallow all it all the way, the way down. down. There it is. There's her stomach. See, it doesn't sound anything like her. Nope. We posted a series of face-offs between food crimes and the mythical beast decided which in each pairing was deserving of more jail time. The mythical kitcheners have recreated all of those dishes Thank and you. you will taste them and guess which one the mythical beast thought was worse each round. Points escalate and the loser will have to eat a surprise super food crime created by the mythical kitchen. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> First up, we've got two misguided attempts at, at incorporating fruit into party food. The first comes from the vulgar chef, a.k.a. Kyle Marku, a friend of mythical chef Josh, and a man who prides himself on making bizarre dishes. This is the mm -hmm. glizberry. And the second dish is from the Twitter account Effed Up Foods, which is self-explanatory, the watermelon pizza. Watermelon mm. pizza. Okay, so what's going on with the glizberry here? It says it's a hot dog inserted into a strawberry with what? mayo on top, sprinkled with graham crackers. Yes, that's mayonnaise, and there's a hot dog inside. Let's watch the original video of how this thing was made. Okay. It seems... Oh, oh gosh. That is just a straight-up dog in there. So that was the reveal, and then, yeah, uh, you start that way. You create a pipe, a, a strawberry pipe. This is and then vulgar. You, and then you pipe on some stuff. Yeah. You never know, man. Listen, I don't like to judge it. I mean, until I eat it. So that is a big glob of mayo. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at that. <laughs> this is. It's a booty. It's a booty with. It looks like. It looks like it's turtle head. Yeah. What's happening? Mine's there? not quite as booty like. Oh my gosh. Well, I kind of. I guess it is. All, All right. right. I think it. Clutching glizzies with the fellas. Uh, we're gonna get. Uh, <laughs> It's sweet. It's tangy. Hot dog's doing a lot of a lot of the. It's got a hot dog in the middle. A lot of the lifting here, and actually, Woo! it's kind of dragging things down. That's bad, to be honest with you. I was hoping that maybe something like redeeming in the way the flavor combination happened. I'm trying to give nothing, everything a chance. Nothing. Nothing. Over here, this is simple though. This is just watermelon pizza, right? Yeah, but I still want to see how it was made. Oh, it starts with a watermelon. Could have guessed that. See, but then you're just treating it like a normal old pizza. You're forgetting that a little it's a stop motion. Oh, and you're you are. Oh, and you're baking it. it for a second. There might be something to this. All right, well, let's find out. This Sink is it. nice. Cooked watermelon. Sink it. Mm. The amount of water in a watermelon never ceases to. I thought it would dry out me. a little bit. Mm. Well, it's better than a strawberry with a hot dog inside of it. You can put pineapple on a pizza. 
Can you put watermelon under a pizza? Uh, okay, but the question is not which one do we like more, but which one do we think that you mythical beast, when presented with these two ideas, thought was more of a food crime? Worse. Grosser. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? To Negative, to... Link. Yep. Because right. I, I don't want to eat the thing they've prepared. I actually, I need to compete. I need to, I need to swallow this. Wait. Surely we did. Surely. Okay. I'm ready. It is Shirley. Three, two, one. Whoa! If it's not Whoa. this, I mean, it's got to be that one. Right. There's a hot dog, a hot dog in, in the, the middle. freaking middle it's of a strawberry. A, of a strawberry. Sixty-six percent of the mythical beasts thought that the glizberry was a bigger food crime. <sighs> and you know what? It is. You are right. We have proven it yeah. right here, live. <laughs> These next dishes take seafood to sweet places it should never go. On Rhett's side is the sushi pancake from TikTok user Boys Who Can Cook. No, you can't. Can you? No. <laughs> and on Link's, the vanilla shrimp Oreo from subreddit Stupid Food. Yeah, that's stupid food. You you, you got that right. Okay, let's, let's see how the pancake was made. Well, I can guess. I bet you they... Nope, I was already wrong. I thought they put the sushi down first. They put the pancake down first. Yeah, it's just like when you put bananas they in, put this. and then it all cooks down. Mm-hmm. Then you put that on it, and then you eat it, and you're very proud of yourself. Y'all making the boys look bad. <laughs> Come on now, boys who can't cook. There is a savory, like I went to um Korean barbecue place, and they had like, there is a, like a seafood pancake. Savory seafood pancakes it, that we it, it, it is a thing that happens. A lot of onions. A lot of onions in that pancake. It's like very little cake. In those things, uh, I'm trying to get. Now, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan, but I'm gonna get this a little. I'm gonna give it a try. You know, it's, it's got the, it's got the. I guess I'll just go in there. You gotta make sure you get a roll. The seaweed. I don't know why I took it off the fork to then eat it, but I did. Cause you brought the fork. That's how you get it to you. I brought the fork. Yeah, the fork brought it to me, and then the hand fed myself. It's not as bad as you think it might be. It is definitely not as good as a normal pancake or as good as a, like a savory seafood pancake. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it kind of cooked down, I mean, Link's making it look like he hates it, but. No, I'm not. I'm just uh, not putting, I'm not sending that on my internal journey. Right. Now, what I, about this one? I think stupid. I know how this was made, <laughs> but let's just confirm. No, we don't have a video. We just have a picture for that reason. Oh. Because. Okay. <laughs> Because uh, you just pull it apart, you put a shrimp in there, and then oh, you put it back together. I already broke it. And you take a nice picture. I already take a nice. Look, I broke picture. it in two places. How could this? This is so dumb. Not be dumb. Good gracious, Italian stallion did this one, huh? No. Oh, just comment on. You just comment. I can forgive doing this with a regular classic or double stuffed prep, but a line was crossed when the best type of Oreo, the golden, was desecrated. Oh, the best Oreo is the golden? I, I think it keeps the color palette more consistent. I like this choice. It's weirdly not as bad as you think it might be. Again, something about the cooked shrimp, it's kind of a mild shrimp flavor. They're actually really similar. So really, it's what seemed like a worse idea. What do people not want, like what do people want to protect more, pancakes or Oreos? This is a toss up. Three. All right. Two, one. That's her stomach. I guess we'd agree again. Yeah, it yeah. just looks so much it's just a grosser. Shrimp. It's just one shrimp, y'all, all just sitting there. And it's just so gross, but like, it didn't ruin either one for me. No. So, I hope we're right and you were wrong. 61% of the mythical beasts thought that the vanilla shrimp Oreo was yeah. the bigger food crime. Yes. I don't actually know if you're right. You're not. You're wrong, I already said it. We interrupt this episode of Good Mythical Morning to tell you about a new video coming out tomorrow, Saturday morning on the Red and Link channel. Watch if you dare.
Before you look down here, I want you to look right here. Check out this t-shirt. It's our annual Earth Day tea. Mm -hmm. It benefits the Earth because a portion of proceeds from all these teas that we sell will be donated to 350.org, which is one of our favorite environmental charities. Yes. It's available in dark chocolate, natural, and I'm sporting sage, oh, sage. today. Mm. It's the mythical logo redesigned to kind of look like you love the Earth. Or you live in an Ewok well, no, village. Well, we don't want it to look like you love the Earth. I mean, well, you, if you love the Earth, if we well, you, assume you, wanna, you do. You like, want to show that you love the Earth yeah, yeah. by having this Earth. But maybe you just look like you love the Earth. on you. Okay, that's, whatever floats your boat. Um, it's only available until April 22nd, which is Earth Day at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, so grab it while you can and help the Earth because you, you kind of like the Earth, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you look like you do at least. You look like it. Mythical.com. Okay, next up we've got the SpaghettiOs PB and Mayo sandwich from Eli of Eli's underscore kitchen on TikTok. You stinker, and Eli. Popcorn and hot sauce ice cream from TikTok user Craftwitch. Uh, I mean, Let's okay. start over here. How does this happen? I mean, is it it's frozen? Can, can we see how it did happen? So you take the SpaghettiOs, put oh, them yeah. in a bag. Yeah, you flatten them out. You flatten them out with the back of your hand. You gotta make, you gotta make the bread. You freeze them. It's called bread making. Then you pull it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm tracking so far. Oh, oh very that's thin. thin. That's nice. And then, oh, and then you slice it. Okay, and that's what they did. Uh huh. And then what? Peanut butter. Okay. Yep. All right. It's tough I'm to tracking. And mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yep. Does Why? it have to be Hellman's? Hope oh, not. Oh, that's how it I'm a Duke's together. man. And then you just. You pull it apart. And then you hold it up to the camera as if you're gonna eat it, but you're not stupid, so you're never gonna actually eat it. And you post it on the internet, and these are the following comments. Most normal meal in Ohio. <laughs> Best meal in Ohio. Midnight snack in Ohio. Normal Ohio lunch. Best food from Ohio. Only in Ohio. Most normal breakfast in Ohio. Most normal lunch in Ohio. Those were all different comments. People have strong foods about what they think about Ohio food. Yeah, strong foods? Strong foods yeah. about what they think. Uh, opinions. Ohio opinions. You it's can frozen. Yeah, you can I don't bite, bite frozen things. Bite it with the side. I'm biting it with the front. Though. I can't. I can't. It has to melt in my mouth. Okay, stick it in your mouth and we'll wait for it to melt. Why would you want a frozen sandwich? You wouldn't. Does that make it dessert? You would. No one wants this. No one asked for it. Not even the people of Ohio. <laughs> you know? Peanut butter and mayo is not a bad combination. It's very good on just regular but, white bread. Like, I can't bite in anything frozen. Disqualified. Okay, well, that's an interesting take. Um, see this, I'm this just gonna- This just feels like the kind I'm of ice cream that we would have made on that episode of that incredible television show that we made, Inside Eats, on the Food Network. Would you mind if we developed our own flavors to see if we can get right to the line of what's acceptable in ice cream? It tastes like gravy that's turned. <laughs> May it rest in peace. See, I can just donkey lip this. It's got a nice smell to it. Um, people were, ooh, that's spicy. Interrogating Kraft Witch, was it good? At every turn, Kraft Witch was standing by this concoction. I love spicy and sweet, and it does it perfectly with a little salt, tangy and flavorful, with a kick. It's definitely tangy, flavorful, and it has a kick. I quite enjoy it. It's a lot better than that. We yeah. don't even need a deliberation on this. We both know, I, I wanna do a little wager. Both, we both know that this is the bigger food crime. Right, so our flag But whoever, let's make this interesting. Whoever gets to the exact percentage of the Mythical Beast who prefer this gets the points for this round because we've been tying, it's not interesting. Yeah, and we're both gonna vote for this, We're right? both voting for this, so let's do a, Steve, you'll do a three, gets two, one. Gets to exact or gets the closest? The closest. Okay, yeah. And you can go over. You can go over, it's just the closest. Um, okay. Three, two, one. 79. 79. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What? 80? Three? Yeah! Yes! We were oh, the both so close! 
thought the SpaghettiOs PB and mayo sandwich was the bigger food crime. Wow, that was a fun round. I got a little rush. <laughs> <laughs> And for the final round, some surprises. The dish on Rhett's side was posted by a now-deleted Scottish Twitter oh, account. Oh, they deleted the account? In Scotland? <laughs> which highlights the <laughs> trick in Trick or Treat, and I'll let you discover the trick yourselves. Razor blade, right? <laughs> and that's a different kind of crime. The dish on Link's side is another horror creation from the vulgar chef. And again, you'll have Stop. to taste it to discover what's inside. But it just looks like a cookie in a chocolate-covered apple. Now, I know we have a lot of different food opinions, but I'm betting that we have a similar food opinion about uh, apple, candy apples. Big letdown. Oh, yeah. It's, they're the worst. Yeah, because apples and you go to that are place, always a letdown. You go to a candy shop, and there's like just these, they're beautiful, and then it's like, yeah, but there's still an apple on the inside. You know what I'm saying? They're always a letdown. I know. Don't I'm, get them. Let's put them out of business. <laughs> Let's put the candy apple people out of business. Well, we've already shut down the Scottish account. <laughs> Y'all put something fun in there, we'll Dang start it. eating it again. Don't take a deep, dark bite, boy. All right, I'm gonna cob it. You gonna cob it? Yeah. Cob it and knob it. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep, yep. Oh, oh. I guess I walked right into that uh, one. I'm the onion. I'm the onion. Well, you made it interesting. The chocolate does help. A chocolate covers the world of hurt, but we've, I've done this enough to try to get it down. Guys, that was a chocolate covered onion. onion. <laughs> really? Mm. Okay, well, surprise, surprise. Uh, okay, uh, now we have cookies. And these cookies look great. Oh, they look just, fine. Sure, they're just normal. They actually look like they're, they're, they're done to perfection. They actually look. smell totally normal. They do. Oh, look at the look on Trevor's face. <laughs> He's over He's there just giggling. giddy. Just giggling. Like a Scottish trick-or-treater. <laughs> okay. What is that? Is that ham? <laughs> Close. Fake spam. bacon? It's spam. It's a slice of spam? Hidden in the middle of a cookie. Yeah. What do they call it? Spam chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> if you're going to be so creative with your dish, come up with a better name. Like, come on, guys. We can come up with a name off the top of our head. Spamkey. Spooky. See? Yeah, See what we that. did? Both of those are better. Spamkey. Okay. Not bad. But which and one that. seems grosser upon... And listen, this matters, right? This is tough. Because... We either tie and we both have to eat the nasty, or I lose, and I have to eat the no, nasty. No, no, actually. Well. Oh, it's it, yeah. points escalate. What so points? If I can we do still win. You can still win. Hold on. Which one's grosser? And if we agree after we voted, then you have the option to change. No. We'll do the percentage thing. Okay. New rule, huh? Well, we did the last round. You said it was fun. You were exhilarated. You said it was fun. <laughs> you said it was fun last time. Hmm. <laughs> Which one Three, do you think was two, grosser? One. Gotta be this one. Yeah, that's what I think. So we agree. So, all right, let's go with percentage okay. of people that we think said this one was the worst. Okay, all right, okay. Three, two. Hold on, she does the countdown. Three, <laughs> two, one. 58. 53. 72% of the Michael Beats thought the chocolate covered onion was the bigger food crime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So did I take it? That really sucks. <laughs> no, I love you have it. No idea how much that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. But we are going to find out because you're going to bring in the uh, nasty concoction. Uh, oh, Rhett, uh, my sweet cheese, my pal, my, my good time boy. It's just pudding, this huh? Is, uh, this is my special paste. So, oh my God. What is it, dude? What is it? What is it? Trevor! <laughs> What? What? Trevor, what's wrong with you? 
you from Ohio? <laughs> Oh, it's so beef sorry. extract, tamarind paste, anchovy paste, citric acid, served with a spoon. <laughs> it's not even a. Th- it's just. It's, it's not even a thing. <laughs> it's not even a thing. It's just a. Tur- it's a turbo thing. Uh, well, I'm glad I made your day, Trevor. You went for it, dude. And for that, I commend you. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, this is Zoe from South Carolina, third degree society member, and I have a little ditty for you. I went to Mythicon, I got this little pen, I'm putting it on my board, but first it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Wow. Catchy. Record deal coming in soon. (laughs) Click the top link to watch us match the crew to their Weird Notes apps. Weird Notes apps notes. (laughs) Yep, that's it. And go mythical more. Oh gosh, and to find out where the wheel's gonna land. We can all do our part to protect our planet and make it a little more mythical. Grab the Make It a More Mythical World tee for a limited time only at mythical.com.